Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over an example on how to convert complex numbers from standard rectangular form into polar or trigonometric forms. Before we get started, let's do a real quick review on some trigonometric um, terms that you need to know what their values are. Okay, so tan of zero, the same thing as sine zero over zero over cosine zero, um, is zero. Tan of pi over six is equal to root three over three. You have to remember that tan of pi over four is one. Tan of pi over three is root three. And tan of pi over two is undefined. Okay. All right. So with these e uh, equations in mind, we can determine what the inverse values are. So if tan zero is zero, that follows that the inverse tan of the output of tan zero, which is zero, is equal to zero. If tan pi over six is with three over three, that follows that the inverse tan of root three over three is equal to pi over six. If tan pi over 4 is 1, that follows that the inverse tan of the output 1 is pi over 4. Tan pi over 3 is root 3. Inverse tan of root 3 is equal to pi over 3. And then lastly, tan of pi over 2 is an undefined number. So the inverse tan of a non-zero number divided by 0 which is an undefined expression, is equal to pi over 2. Okay, you can use a calculator to evaluate these inverse tangent values, but if you're asked to do this by hand without any calculator and you're given these exact values, it is beneficial to know um, the value of this, the inverse trig function of, this, of the output of these common trig angles. Okay, before we get started with some examples, um, these are the steps we're going to be using to convert complex numbers from standard rectangular into polar or trigonometric forms. Now, let's say you're given a complex number in the rectangular form, A plus BI. Step number one involves identifying A and B. A is the real part, B is a coefficient of the imaginary part. After identifying A and B, you're going to find the radius r by computing the square root of the sum of a square and b square. Then you find theta, the angle, by using the formula theta is equal to the inverse tangent of b over a. Whenever a is positive, I'm sorry, whenever a is negative or less than zero, you have to add pi to the resulting um, angle. After determining A and B in steps 2 and 3, you simply write your complex number in polar form by writing it as R cosine theta plus I sine theta. All right, let's take a look at question number one. The task is to express the following complex number, um, which clearly is in rectangular or standard form, in polar form. We have to convert it into polar or trigonometric forms. Okay, so what is the first step? Step number one is to find A and B. Okay, we need to determine what A and B are. So, um, we have negative one plus root three I. Okay, so the standard form for a complex number is A plus B I. So we can clearly see that A is equal to the real part, negative one, and b is the coefficient of the i, the imaginary part, which is root 3. Okay? Step 2, following the steps that we talked about earlier, we have to find the radius r using the formula square root of a square plus b square. So all we'll do is we'll substitute the values of a and b into this equation right here. So what does that give us? That gives us the square root of a square, which is negative one square, plus b square, which is rad three square, okay? 
If you simplify that, you end up with the square root of negative 1 square is 1, where 3 square is just 3. Uh, 1 plus 3 is 4, so the square root of 4 is 2. So that is the value of the radius r. Next, we have to find the angle. That's step 3 in the conversion process. And the formula is theta, the angle is equal to the inverse tan of b over a. Okay, now you want to remember that you have to um, add pi when um, whenever a is negative. Now let's look at what we have over here. Um, theta is going to be the inverse tan of b, which is root 3, divided by a, which is negative 1. Okay, now are we going to add pi in this case? The answer is yes. Why? Because a is negative, so we have to uh, add pi. All right, so what's the inverse tan of that? Uh, theta is equal to the inverse tan of root 3 over negative 1 is just negative root 3 plus pi. Now, since inverse tan is an odd function, um, tan of the square root, inverse tan of negative root 3 becomes negative inverse tan of root 3 plus pi. Okay, now, what is the inverse tan of um, root 3? If you think back to what we just talked about, the inverse tan of root 3 is pi over 3. Okay, so theta is equal to negative pi over 3 plus pi. If you carry out the calculations, we can put this over 1. Find the LCD, uh, multiply by 3 top and bottom. So this angular value, theta, becomes uh, negative pi over 3 plus 3 pi over 3. And that is equal to 2 pi over 3. Okay, so that is the value for theta. Now, what is our final answer going to be? All we'll just do is basically rewrite the um, the complex number in rectangular form. We're going to write it in trigonometric or polar form. Okay, the format. Let's rewrite the format um, for a complex number in rectangle in polar or trigonometric form. Is the radius cosine theta plus i sine theta. Now we already know what r and theta are. Those are the only variables we need to write um, a complex number in rectangular form in polar form, okay? So the complex number negative one plus the square root of three i can be written as the radius, which is two, we determine it here, times cosine theta, two pi over three, plus i sine theta, i sine theta, which is also 2 pi over 3. Close your bracket. Now, this is the, the polar or trigonometric form of this complex number, negative 1 plus root 3i, which is in standard form. Okay, so there you have it. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial beneficial to you, do give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this, the contents of this clip or complex numbers in general, just place your question in the comment section below, and we'll be glad to provide you uh, with support as soon as possible. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get updates to other cool pre-calculus and calculus tutorials such as this. More clips and information can be found on math.serve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.